What's going on guys? Welcome back to Taps. Today we're back with more viewer suggestions and this battle I really have no idea how it's gonna go So I I changed it up a little bit from what he suggested to make it a little bit more fair because I wasn't sure exactly How it was going to go, but I kind of figured that this would be the result due to the catapults But it's looking pretty balanced right now. It's It's pretty interesting actually there's a couple archers left. Okay, so it looks like the blue side might have a little bit of an advantage. And I'm going to tweak one thing because of that. So there it is, blue victory. So this is a this is a suggestion. It's pretty cool. Uh, but I'm going to take away an axeman. He didn't actually even say to put in axeman. I put him in because I feel like it would be more balanced. Because they have 1,000 HP, which is a lot. Uh, way more footmen on this side than on this side, though. And so... We're gonna, we'll do this again and see what happens. I wonder if that, is that one catapult killing the majority of those footmen? No, actually not. The shieldmen. Shieldmen getting mowed down, I think, by their own archers. Okay. Wow, there's, this is totally different. So guys, if you leave a battle suggestion in the comment section below, definitely make sure to, uh, Okay, I'm going to take away the Axeman. We'll see what happens. Uh, definitely make sure to thumbs up the ones that you guys do like. So that way I know what you want to see. Because the biggest thing for me is, you know, I want to do really cool battles. And you guys seem to have a pretty good gauge of what's really good good battle-wise. And so, okay, looks like the cannon over here is getting messed up. Which might be, might be something. He said put it on the far flank, so we'll do that. Alright, so here we go. Let's do it one more time and see if we get a little different result here. Now that that cannon's actually operating, I wonder what's going to happen now. Oh, that catapult just missed that huge horde of headbutters. Interesting. Red side is totally different now. I, I don't think it's because of the cannon. I don't really know why. I guess those axemen do make that big of a difference. Interesting. That's pretty cool. So I've got a lot of suggestions that you guys have left today, and I'm really excited to get into those. So let's go ahead and get into the next suggestion. Alright, as it stands, this battle seems like it's going to be really one-sided. And so I'm going to put in two more beamers, and we'll see how it goes. The biggest difference is the projectile shields, the amount of pistols. There's four M16 men. They have one M16 men, but they have four cannons over here. So it could go totally different than what I expect. But I'm actually wondering if the M16 men can even do anything because of the... Oh, the beamers! Holy crap, the beamers just killed everybody. And I just realized that I do have the graphics on like extremely low quality. So I will have to fix that. Holy crap, I can't believe all the beamers just killed all of those guys on the left side. That was freaking awesome. Okay, so the cannons didn't seem to do really all that much. And so what happens if we spread them out like this so as to not get shot by everything and then we... Um, the M16 man over here didn't even do anything because of the projectile shield, which I kind of figured would happen. But I wonder if the cannon can actually... Oh, the cannon's actually bugged out over here. Because of the... Oh, I got rid of some pistol guys. Let's put that back up. Uh, because of the... The platform. So maybe we'll put them like right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. He hit, he hit there. Cannons are actually doing some stuff. Oh, nice. Cannon hit the uh, projectile shield. Holy crap. The beamers just murder everybody. The energy energy sword master's still alive. Oh, it's oh there we go. That's crazy how the M16 mans don't seem to do anything for their team really. It's it's quite crazy. Actually, look wait a minute guys look what's happening here. The M16 man is their shots are being blocked by the projectile their own projectile shields. What the crap? Is this a bug? Oh my gosh, I gotta change the quality. It's so bad. Look at this. It's totally different now. Oh, it's it's totally different. Why are the projectile shields blocking their own team's things? That seems weird. Huh. Well, it seems like uh, we found out that the blue team... It's crazy that the blue team has less energy pistols, less M16s, but I think it's because the cannons are completely hitting like massive groups or something. It's very cool to see just like the slight variations in battles and what can happen. Okay, this is heaven versus hell apparently and we have Chicken Man Man as God in the back and then we've got Dark Peasant 
Satan, that makes sense. But I changed the battle from what he suggested because it seemed very one-sided. I mean, they have so many things. They have 12 super peasants and super boxers. And he only had one super peasant over here, one M16, three trumps, and one dark peasant, and then 20 samurai, which are going to do nothing. And so I added in more super peasants. So let's find out what happens here with this uh, change. I'm going to guess the red side is still going to win, uh, but you never know. Holy crap! It's just a vortex of death over here. Look at this. Super peasants flying all over the place. Look at how many red guys are left. The 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 footmen are Oh my gosh. It's just totally total red victory over here. There's there's some blue guys left though. But they're all trying to uh kill the dark peasant and it's not going very well. He has a hundred thousand health, guys. Look at this right here. He's just got a grip on him. Oh, and he kills him. He kills him. The super pet, the dark peasant is still alive over here. Oh, here he comes. He's going for him. A hundred thousand HP. Just throwing him around. This is not realistic. The 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 dark peasant alone. We to make this even, it shouldn't be a dark peasant. It should be like two chicken man mans or something. Because, I mean, even that's that's still, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you make this battle even. Because the super peasants and super boxers, they just cause so much, so much chaos. The M16s, the Trumps. Trumps, it's not like Trumps has a lot of HP or anything. Uh, yeah, just the overwhelming number of super peasants and super boxers is causing... What exactly are they doing? Spinning around on the ground, hitting hitting their feet. Red victory again. Yeah, I think it's just, it's very unbalanced because of the simple fact that there's so, so many. Look at this. So many uh, super peasants and stuff. Uh, did he kill them? Oh, they, I thought they killed them both. I was going to be like, what the heck? Look, look at this battle. Look at the super peasant battles. They just spin around like this. <laughs> they just spin around. Uh, he's dead. The, the chicken men, men, when they die, you just kind of don't know when they're going to die. Just a bunch of supermans run, flying at each other here. Wow, are the blue, is the blue side going to win? <clears throat> what the heck? The blue side's going to win this. All they gotta do is kill this one guy and it's over. Wow, this is actually pretty surprising. Uh oh, uh oh. Look at this battle! Holy crap! The blue team won? What? That's crazy! This is Halo meets Tabs. I love it. So we got energy pistols as. Uh, let's just start it. Energy pistols as elites, 15 thieves as grunts with, without guns, two beamers as slimmed hunters. Uh, two energy sword masters, totally invisible elites, five X-Men with gravity hammer, ten Vikings as jackals, two Teslas as covenant snipers, and then the other team, we got M16 as Master Chief, Trump as Sergeant Johnson, 15 muskets as UNSC Marines lacking in funding. Oh, okay, that was legitimate. One box gun as Cortana, two beamers as snipers, uh, two chariots as Christmas decorated mongooses, <laughs> and then one chicken man as Flood. Okay, so let's do it one more time and see how we can adjust this. I'm trying to do this thing where we show, where I show like gameplay, like pretty much all the time. Uh, but it's it's a little difficult to talk and show the gameplay and everything at the same time. Okay, this is a little different this time. I think the catapults are making catapults making a big difference. Axe man. Okay, so lots of muskets left. Okay, so I think what we could do is add a couple more energy pistols in, and that might make a a pretty big difference. Three, four, five. I like the jackal thing. That's kind of cool as the Vikings. Let's see if this makes any difference. The box gun. Oh, the box gun's causing some issues. I'm surprised the energy sword masters don't do more. They don't, uh, you know, last a little longer or something. The box gun is Cortana is a pretty interesting thing. 
Oh, oh, that made a big difference. Cool. It's cool to see, like, I mean, you can tweak, like, differences like that. Just the beamer left. Okay, so let's, like, shave off two on each side. Now let's see. <clears throat> I like to make the battle somewhat, you know, somewhat uh, reasonable and even. That boxer's destroying people. It's such an interesting weapon, like, they came up with. The box gun. It's so kind of, kind of cool. Whoa, way to go, you jerk. You killed your own projectile shield. Dude, the M16 man just wrecking. Uh-oh, the gravity hammer brute coming at you. Oh, saved by the sniper. I just screamed so loud. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, energy sword master's coming in. Uh-oh, they missed him, too. It's all over. It's all over. Dude, just... Oh, that's a really cool battle. I'm, I'm, it's, it's pretty cool to see. Let's, let's change this up to maybe one. I don't think the energy sword master does much actually. And the box gun is always different every time of where it places and who it hits. It's different every. This one projectile shield is getting knocked over. What happens if we move this? It's hitting that rock and knocking, getting knocked over, and it's kind of a waste. So the energy, the projectile shields do not stop the energy pistols. So the energy pistols can shoot through that and hit the projectile shield. Lots of red guys on the on that side over there. Really cool suggestion, guys. I really uh, I really like your guys' suggestions lately. Lots of really good one good ones. I love you guys thumbs up and all the ones that you like and stuff. It really helps me. Uh, know what you want to see and makes the video way better. Oh, that was really close actually Really really close. Uh, I love that the that the catapult is a really low budget tank, too. That's so funny That's awesome. Thanks. Okay, so another idea I had that I wanted to test out is uh, After seeing the samurai masters We're gonna do 15 of these guys and we're gonna pit them against okay How much health do they have 3,000? And we're going to pit them against the Energy Sword Master. And so we're going to do... Let's do seven of them. Seven versus 15. Let's see what happens. See if they see if they can take out the Samurai. Because the Samurai slash so fast. So double the HP. Oh, whoa! Dude, the Samurai Masters are so good now. 15 v 15. Let's do it. Can they beat these guys? I don't know. So maybe they uh, they have more HP. Oh, that's... Oof, oof. It's all over. More HP, but the Samurai Master hits way faster. So how many does it take to kill 10? Can they kill 10? Can 10 of them kill these Samurai Master? And when you have the Energy Sword Masters together like that, they do way better. Wow, this is like incredibly surprising to see. Wow, that's crazy. The energy, the samurais are so good. Okay, hey, can a samurai master kill a, like a, just one peasant? Like one one giant peasant horde? I bet he can. 3,000 HP. Oh, wait, did we try this in the last episode? We might have tried this in the last episode. But we didn't try it with like boxers or something. So we'll mix them, we'll mix some boxers in if he can kill all these guys. So look at how fast he swings. It's just crazy. And he jumps and stuff, too. So the Samurai Grandmat... Oh! Completely surrounded and just owned. Whoa. So he gets overwhelmed pretty easily. Really easily there. But what if we do... Okay, I'm trying to think of how we can mass spam Samurai Masters and test them against some... Let's just see what happens here. Obviously, they're going to win. But I just want to know how fast they can kill all these peasants. That's pretty quick. None of them died, obviously. Interesting. So 20 of them. Let's pit them against a bunch of things. Let's just test them. Barbarians. A bunch of barbarians. Barbarian horde. We'll do 100. 100 barbarians. Here we go. Can they kill the barbarians? Probably. Barbarians aren't much better. Except in terms of damage. Okay, so completely easily kill them there. What about what else do we have? Farmers <clears throat> will easily kill them. What I get? What about like super boxers? Ten thousand HP. 
Let's do 10. 10 versus 20. I wonder, can they kill him? Holy crap! Goodbye. He's still alive, too. Oh, the super boxers. Oh, what? What? That's crazy. Wow. That's craziness. That's, I'm really surprised by that. Really, really surprised. I'm trying to think what we can test him against. What a bunch of, what about a bunch of footmen? It's a big old massive spam of footmen. We'll do 100 again. If you don't have them close to each other, the samurais just like completely, like, uh, completely take advantage of the any gaps. Holy crap! That was the fastest yet? Wait a minute. 300 HP? What about Axe? Ooh, Axeman would be a good challenge. 20. Uh, we'll do 25. 25 v 20. They have a lot of HP. This will be a good test. Oh my gosh. The Samurai Masters are so good now. Holy crap. I'm just completely baffled by this. I didn't... I always talked so bad about the Samurais. And I'm like, ooh, Samurai Master, what a joke. And now look at him. Just easily kill... Whoa! Goodbye. There it is. There it is right there. Defeat. Oh my gosh. Look at this horde. Look at this horde of Axemen. They're coming. That Samurai was holding his own there for a while too. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, definitely make sure to click that thumbs up button below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and you haven't already. And leave those battle suggestions below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.